Hey everybody, Buck's Gear Box. Welcome to the table. Hey, uh, welcome back. This is a Microtech LUDT out the side automatic folding knife. Uh, it's got a 3.42 inch blade according to Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft, haha, <laughs> Microtech's website. Uh, it's eight inches in length overall. So it's a full size folder for sure. Mine is in M390. If you can see that right there, yeah, there you go. And uh, but the uh, the trick is they can vary. They can be in CTS 204P, XHP, or LMAX. So you know it depends on what they have available at the time. I really don't mind that. Those are all very good steels. Uh, no problem there. Uh, the, some of their knives they don't tell you what the steel is, and that I don't care for because I'm I'm a knife geek. I just want to know. Uh, but again, I like all the stuff I've gotten from them. Anyway, um, this is a pretty cool thing here. Uh, this is orange, which is my fa one of my favorite colors. This is a 6061 T6 aluminum handle. It's got some nice groove milling there. Uh, it makes it really comfortable in the hand. And the thing weighs a lot less than you think it would when you look at it. you think that would be a big chunky thing, but it's aluminum. So it's pretty lightweight. It's about three and a half ounces. And uh, the blade is in this one. Uh, they have different finishes, but this is their Microtex apocalyptic finish. It's like a darkened stone wash. I don't know if they uh, they wash that in some sort of chemical or something like that, but it is pretty, no question there. Couple of regular knife size comparisons. Let's throw that out there. Uh, here is the pair of three. And here is the Paramilitary 2. Lots of folks know those knives and can kind of gauge uh, <clears throat> the knife length due to the familiarity we have with those. Um, in case you don't have any Spydercos, I've got, uh, got a couple others here that are, are right available right next to me. That's the Benchmade Grip Tillion full size. So yeah, this is a full size knife. It matches up with the grip. Uh, Pretty darn well there. Uh, very good size comparison there. Here is the bug out. I have that sitting next to me at almost all times. So you can see that there. And what else do I have sitting here that might be uh, interesting and comparable? Here's the uh, Protec Malibu. Put that there as well, just cause I have it. Love that thing. This is gonna get an overview video pretty soon. Great knife. All right, uh, now for something a little different, some style comparisons. This is not my only uh, automatic knife. And uh, so there's a couple of different things. If you're not into the world of automatics or if they're not legal in your area, please check your local laws before you commit to something like this. Uh, but I have a couple of outside autos that uh, you know, you can compare and contrast this to um, mostly it's about the action. I would say this is a heavier knife. This is the Protec Rock Eye and uh, it's got a little more powerful mechanism in there, but the uh, LUDT is just right in its strength for its size for sure. Flips right out. Maybe not quite as powerful as uh, the Rock Eye. There's also, I have another Protec. This is the Newport. Um, and, uh, it's a really kind of a lightweight gentleman's carry style thing. It's really attractive looking and, um, you know, a little bit different in style for sure, but these are my other two out the side folders. Um, and you know, this is the one I would wear in a suit. If I had to ever wear a suit, I don't like wearing suits. Um, this one is just a beast of a knife. This thing is huge, heavy, and, uh, gets the job done. No question. Uh, this one is probably more, well, it's a little bit Goldilocks right there in the middle. It's great for everyday carry because it's so lightweight. It's very slim in the pocket. Um, it just, it's, it's very comfortable. So I find myself gravitating to this one a lot over those two. There are also, of course, out the front autos from Microtech specifically. They, they are kind of in my mind, the premium out the front brand. If you wanted an out the front, um, Pocket knife, uh, Microtech, you can't really go wrong. They are expensive, but 
when you get one in hand, I, I never thought that I would want something like this. And then I got it in hand at River's Edge. And I was like, okay, I kind of get it now. Um, now, I carry this with me a lot, but it's kind of a secondary carry. It's not my, my main one. Out the fronts, are, I don't like them as much as I like out the side. But that's just me. Um, your mileage may vary. Um, a word on legal stuff. You know, automatics may not be legal in your state, in your city, in your country. I live in Ohio in the United States, and they are very legal here. Um, this is also a 3.5 inch blade, which is also restricted in many places. There are cities in Ohio I know I can't take that with me. Um, you have to know your local laws, please. And I don't know your local laws, so you have to be kind of, you know, in charge of that. <laughs> in some places, these things are legal to own but not to carry. That was the case in Ohio before April of this year. Uh, and in some places, the laws are just very unspecific about different types of knives and what constitute what constitutes like a weapon and all that kind of stuff. That is... Uh, was also the case for Ohio until uh, until April of this year. Uh, the laws have been cleared up, cleaned up, and they're very easy to understand now. So if you live in Ohio, go check those out. If you don't, you need to know your local laws before you invest in something like an automatic uh, folding knife. All right, my likes and dislikes. I'm hoping this will be a quick video. As you can tell, I'm trying to speed through this. The last one was super long. Okay, most of my dislikes about this knife are based on its looks. Um, and most of my likes are based on how it feels, although the fit and finish is very nice on this. You can see that. So that's, I guess, in the look to, looks department as well. But to me, this thing looks cool, but not, uh, not exactly beautiful. This is kind of a knife geek knife, uh, a knife geek thing, kind of a uh, look at how cool my knife is, guys. That kind of <laughs> that kind of thing. But this isn't something I would take on a date night. You know, like, not that my wife cares really, but, um, you know, it's just not that vibe. I would take a, a nicer looking thing. Maybe like the uh, the Protec Malibu, or not the Malibu, the Protec Newport. Or the Malibu, for that matter. More attractive knife, in my mind. Just, you know... Uh, it's kind of geek versus beauty in some ways. So, but I really like the way it looks. Um, I love the color. Uh, I love the fact that I found it in orange. Um, there's a lot of different colorways for the aluminum. I love the apocalyptic blade finish. I love the blade design. This is just a tried and true, awesome, you know, uh, pocket knife design. No question for that. Um, and I love the crown spine. You don't usually get that at this price point for knives. Uh, Giant Mouse does that. Uh, this is the only other one in that price range kind of that that does the extra step of a of a crown on top of the spine. I love it. And um, you know other than that yeah it's kind of quirky looking. It's kind of kind of clunky looking in some ways. Uh, but the fit and finish are really really good. It's really really nice. Um, and the feel, that's where I really kind of gush about this thing. The feel is super good. This is, a, this is a premium experience, no question. The aluminum handles are comfortable. They're probably, probably the most comfortable aluminum handles of any knife I own that has aluminum. You can really grip it. Some of the aluminum knives that I have are just super slippery. Um, there's just not much, uh, not much to grip. Um, but these grooves really make that pleasant and then the way that the uh the handles are shaped makes it just fit i i would i don't know for sure but it just seems like this would fit in anyone's hand um, big hands small hands finally, finally probably find a place to hold this knife uh comfortably um so uh i also like the jimping on this on this knife it looks a little um deep in the in the camera but it's actually really really subtle um, sorry, I can't talk today. Really subtle, and uh, it's very comfortable. It doesn't chew your hand up like uh, like hinderer knives do. <laughs> so it's just it's really nice. It's very very effective, and the action, of course, mm, 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 is perfect. It just it's just perfect. It's not super fast, uh, but it doesn't take a day to get out there either. It's ready to go, and 
yeah, I really dig this thing. A couple other niggles, yes. Um, this is uh, proprietary hardware. Uh, they don't really want you taking apart their knives. All of Microtech's knives, as far as I know, at least that are being released these days, have that uh, triangly looking thing. You can buy one of these. You can buy like a, a, a bit for that. It's expensive, and uh, they kind of would rather you send it back for servicing if you need to get into it. Now, I'm a knife geek, so one of these days I'm probably going to buy that and figure out how to work on these. Uh, can I recommend it? Yup. If this is legal in your area and you want an easy-to-carry, everyday carry automatic knife, if you can find one, these are rare, but they come out at a kind of a steady trickle. I was lucky to find mine used. But yeah, if you want one, if, if you want something like this, this is a great, a great out the side folder. If you can't find one of these, one of my next favorites would be the new port from Protec. It's a little bit smaller, but it is one of my favorites to carry. Uh, if you want something beefier, you could get the Rock Eye. It's huge. Anyway, that's it for this, the Microtech LUDT. Hopefully this video has helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did, if you like this kind of stuff. And uh, I'll keep making the videos. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.